What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for a video all about how I use my prayer journal. Plus I'm going to so show you inside the pages of my actual prayer journal so you can get an idea of what I'm writing inside there and how I use it and different things like that. But let's just go ahead and get into it. So when I'm about to use my prayer journal, the first thing I do is I grab my Bible and my phone with my headphones and some pens and highlighters and the actual prayer journal. This is mine. It's a floral print. I got it at Staples, I believe, and it's by the brand Paper Chase. But I grab that um, before I begin my focused prayer time. I like to use my phone to set a timer for the focused prayer session I'm about to start. And I also turn on some worship music. I've really been into Hillsong's What a Beautiful Name Lately When I Pray. Then I go ahead and I begin my focused prayer for that person or the situation. I'm praying specifically for a person. And I use my prayer journal to kind of help guide me. Um, I read over past entries inside the journal to remind myself of the specific areas I'm praying for regarding the person I'm praying for. I also have scriptures and different things like that. Anyhow, so when my prayer session timer goes off, I usually continue to pray and listen to the Lord, but in a less focused intercessory way. Um, sometimes like the Lord will lead me to specific scriptures he'll put them like in my mind. I'll just think of a certain scripture and I'll know that's the Lord leading me to go and read it. And sometimes I just listen and the Lord will speak something specific to me um, to begin praying for in the future for that person that I'm praying for. So after that less formal time of prayer, I'll pull out my prayer journal and I'll record the prayer experience. Sometimes I'll write down the scriptures that the Lord showed me during prayer. So some scripture writing. Sometimes I'll write a brief description of the prayer time, like what took place during that prayer time. Like did I face a wall of boredom? That's something I specifically wrote about, you know, a couple times ago. Sometimes I'll write any specific phrases, like I said, that the Lord laid on my heart to pray repeatedly for the person that I'm praying for. I write down those specific phrases in the journal. Sometimes I'll write a prayer out to God as if it was like a note to the Lord. Like I'm just writing out what I would be saying aloud and I'll write it in my journal. And then sometimes I'll also read over my past prayer journal entries. Um, I'd probably say I do that every couple of weeks or month or so, but that's how I use my prayer journal. So here's a look inside my prayer journal. It's a paper chase journal with no lines on the pages. I bought it at Staples, like I said. I made a little cover page that says prayer journal and I put the date where I started. I actually started this one quite a while ago and I put it away and worked in a different notebook and now I'm back to using this one because I do want to fill it up. But these are some of the entries. I'm just kind of flipping through the pages and giving you an overview. You can see there on the left, that is where I have made some specific lists of phrases that I'm praying. Um, focusing my prayers on over the person that I'm praying for. You can actually see, I read over these pages to make sure I wasn't super nervous about what you're about to read. I don't think there's anything too, too like private that I wouldn't share with you in general, but I switch between a couple different colors of ink. I do highlight occasionally. The reason I highlight is if it's something that I think is really specific. Like if I write out a scripture in my prayer journal and then I am praying that scripture over the person that I'm praying for and then I highlight it, that means that's a phrase that I really feel like is a prayer focus in the middle of that scripture for that person, which maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's common sense, but I just wanted to point it out. So I'll also summarize passages of scripture and pull phrases from them in this bullet point fashion that you're looking at right here. You can say that I'm, see that I'm marking the days of the challenge, like day four of Pray With Anna, day 17 of Pray With Anna. Sometimes you'll see like there on the right hand side of the screen, there's a tiny little margin where I'm writing in different colored ink. And that's when I've gone back and reviewed what I've written in my prayer journal. And I feel like the Lord's spoken something even further for me to pray for that person. So I write it in the ink that I'm using at the time. There you see Romans 12, 1 through 2, because this is a passage, I think this is probably, yeah, this is a passage I think from Ephesians 5, but then that passage tied in with a scripture I was already praying, which was Romans 12, 1 and 2, and I wanted to write down how they connected and pray those two scriptures in conjunction. And then this was something totally different. It wasn't about the person I was praying for, but it was about something that God brought to my heart to help me process about my own personal life after I had prayed for that person. So anyway, um, here I'm talking about I got behind a little bit and I was catching up. Here's Psalm 91. I was just praying that over and I felt like I should write that out and really read each line and focus on each line. And I've been praying that one pretty repeatedly. This is something a little different, the prayer of St. Patrick. This is a prayer that is not in scripture, but it is a prayer by 
Patrick, St. Patrick, and I felt led to pray that for my brother. Not every single line, but the parts that I really felt to focus on, I wrote out in my journal. So anyway, that's a look inside my prayer journal at the individual pages, and I'll see you in another video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.